The function key EQ brings up a graphical EQ screen to set the EQ quickly and with full overview. The settings submenu parametric EQ, which is found in the I.O. menu, mirrors the setting done in this screen. Turning encoder 2 or pushing volume repeatedly scrolls through all five bands, as can be seen in the parameter line with the labels B1 to B5. The five bands are shown in different colors. Volume steers the gain of the current band, but the other parameters cannot be changed. This state provides a quick view and verification of all parameters of all bands, without the risk of changing any of them unintentionally. After pushing encoder 2 one time, the parameter line is selected, with all values shown in white color. They can now be adjusted by the three encoders. The volume knob still changes gain. The upper encoder 1 adjusts frequency and the lower encoder 2 the quality factor. All changes are shown in real time as frequency response curve, also called boat plot, making it very easy to find the desired settings. The frequency graphics give a precise overview of the filter results. Another push on encoder 2 selects the filter symbol in the right of the parameter line. As this function is only available in bands 1 and 5, the symbol stays grayed out in bands 2, 3 and 4. Band 1 and 5 can operate in shelf mode and peak mode or as high pass or high cut. The next push on encoder 2 changes the graphical EQ preset selection. Turning encoder 2 will scroll through all EQ presets while the display shows the respective boat plot and the name of the preset in the parameter line. On a new device the presets are empty. In this video we show how it will look like after you stored your favorite settings of your favorite phones and applications. Please note that in this specific screen state, volume is available to change the volume and to switch the current output. Pushing encoder 2 once more returns to the normal band gain control. From here it is possible to directly jump back to the graphical EQ selection by pressing encoder 1 for one time, as the menu can be walked through in both directions. Technically, the ADI2 deck has an internal headroom of 24 dB. Still, extreme boosts could cause clipping. Such overloads will be visible on the level meters below the EQ, as well as the channel's level meter below the analyzer. In such a case, reducing the output volume will remove the clipping from the level meters as well as the audio itself. Pushing the EQ function key a second time brings up the screen EQ enable presets. In this screen the EQ can be switched on and off and EQ presets can be stored and loaded comfortably. EQ enable turns the parametric EQ on or off. Available options are on, off, left and right. Left and right are only available with dual EQ activated. If the EQ is disabled, the frequency graph is shown as a gray line. Presets select, loads or stores up to 20 different EQ presets. The first choice, manual, holds the current unsaved EQ settings. The second choice, temporary, holds the settings of a loaded and then modified preset. This scheme lets one easily change and compare three different EQ settings. The manual one, the 20 stored presets and a modified preset without losing changes while listening to a different set of EQ settings. Name allows to edit the name of the current preset and to edit the name during the store process. Push encoders 1 and 2 to move forward and backwards within the name field. Turn encoder 2 to select the letter, number or symbol. Then press encoder 2 briefly to enter the next sign. After the last sign, the cursor jumps to the field store to. The name can consist of up to 14 signs. Leaving this field, the name is automatically adjusted to the right. Adding signs to the front and rear is possible afterwards. A quick turn to the left brings up space, which is also used to quickly delete letters. Short tip. Turning encoder 1 
gives access to all existing preset names. So copying and modifying a preset can be done more quickly. Changing the name is always stored immediately during editing without further confirmation. Save to. Use encoder 2 to select the slot where the current preset should be stored to. To store, press and hold encoder 2 for one second.